Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's Mon Nation here, here to bring you another tutorial. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to do commands on the Fortress Crash for your Xbox 360. Now, what you're going to need for this is a USB keyboard. I'll show you what that is right here. Now, it's basically this. It's just a normal keyboard, but it has a USB at the end of it. It's pl it basically connects to the USB keyboard, and then that's what you're going to use to plug into your Xbox 360. I'll show you what that, how to do that right here. Now, just put it next to your console, whatever. And then you're just going to want to plug it into the front of your console. It doesn't matter which end, just front or back, it doesn't really matter. I just put it in the front because it's convenient. Now, back onto your Xbox 360, you're going to want to go to Game Library and then load up Fortress Craft. If you don't have Fortress Craft, I'll have a build of it inside the description. If you're not sure how to get XNA Game Creator, there's plenty of videos on YouTube of how to get it for free. Don't recommend it. Wait, yeah, I think there's actually a Microsoft thing going on, so yeah, they kind of recommend it. <laughs> but if there's not, then I don't recommend it. You should buy it. But anyways, uh, once Fortress Craft goes to the main menu, just press Start, and then just select whatever, your hard drive, USB, whatever. Then just go to Start Game. Once you go to New Game, it'll start loading up all the nodes. Now, I'm not going to sit here and pretend that I know what the nodes are. I have actually no idea. I'm guessing it has something to do with, like, the game structure or whatever, but not 100% sure, so don't quote me on this. Okay, uh, wait for the game to load up. It should say 0.0% .0 edited because you have not entered the reel yet. If it says any more than that, the game's probably going to crash because you should have selected no game, and I don't know. But anyways, what you're going to need to do once the game starts is press shift. Shift before anything to bring up the block. You'll see the block here in a second. But anyways, just wait a second. Generating rail. Um, new network session created. And then once it all goes green, just press start. Then you can press shift and then that's the black box that I'm talking about. Press shift to uh, open it up and press shift again to close it out. You don't have to keep on holding shift. Just press it. Click it. And then you don't need a keyboard. You could also use a little chat pad onto an Xbox 360 controller or whatever. But then you can just press help to get all the commands that you want, like little short commands that you can use. You can type those in. I'll have all the commands that I know of inside the description. Inside the description, people. <laughs> Last video I told people to go inside the description everyone was blasting me saying hey hey where's the codes but anyways <laughs> Then what you can do is uh, put fill brick and then press the three commands I think it's height width and base no height width and length maybe I don't know but anyways then you should select that and then it should create blocks that big unfortunately it never it spawned but I wasn't able to see it and sometimes Fortress Crafts does that but anyways I'm just playing around here for a second you can watch me whatever now if you're noticing that goblin creature or whatever that's left over from my previous world I don't know how it got here that's why I was like staring at it going how did it follow me but anyways that's what I'm about to do you go add water, I'm not afraid, and then it adds this water, and then all those goblins start to follow you. I don't know, maybe they're like dwarfs or something. I don't know. But anyways, I'll show you here in a second. And I've been telling people that my PVR has been failing a lot. Uh... For some reason, at the end of this video, I was showing something, and then it just cut off for me, so I apologize about that. I, I didn't have anything to do with that. It's my PVR. I'm trying to get a new computer. Oh, what am I doing right now? Sorry, I'm trying to look onto my Sony Vegas screen. Oh, the TNT thing, I think. Anyways, yeah, I'll just put a whole bunch of commands inside the description. Look at that. I'll have basic detail about this. Where I originally found this was Seven Sins. Uh, my two places, that three places that I always get original ideas from is Game Tuts, Seven Sins, and XP Game Saves. Those are my three forums. Absolutely recommend that you go sign up for those forums if you want to be in touch with the latest and greatest mods. But also subscribe. 
because I will most likely have it at the same time that they will. I keep up with this stuff like no other person. Anyways, um, I'm just trying to walk over here. Right around here is where my thing failed. So this has been Mod Nation giving you the latest, greatest tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe um, and rate the video. Thumb up if this worked for you. And leave inside the comments if you have any troubles whatsoever, and I'll help you to the best of my abilities. Now I'm just putting the add water, I am not afraid, and then it's basically filling up to the entire world. So don't do this if you don't want this to happen, because you're not going to have an undo switch, or you're going to have to create a whole new world. Okay, this has been Mod Nation. See you next time.